They're really in sync to use. Corky, a champion we've been seeing more of come back into popularity, the dreaded Corky Azir meta, but that's gonna be the pick here for beer combination there with the piercing arrow on top of the auto attacks to proc the extra damage from the stacks. As Someday is gonna be losing a trade here against Broken Blade 1v1, but it's not gonna be 1v1 for long. Dardock wants to move in, find this gank, there's your flash to the body slam, Someday gets himself away and now TPs are coming down. It will be a 3v3. Dardock tries to walk himself away, but Meteos is under pressure. He flashes over the wall, but it's first blood for Broken Blade. Ryoma and Someday continue in retreat, but the chains have found their way onto a target and force yet another flash. Three flashes down for 100 Thieves in the top side and first blood to TSM. That is so crucial for TSM to be able to get. And they're actually thinking about getting more here. They know they have a flashless, teleportless set of soul laners stuck behind this turret that they want to either pressure off the turret or actually dive. Ryoma's six, though, so they have to respect the shockwave. Shockwave finds its way on a broken blade, but he's able to grab the kill onto Sunday and use decided to just back up, because as you mentioned, yeah, based on the strength of power, they had to give it up. Flashless... Oriana. Ooh, a lot of damage coming out from yeah, 100 Dardoch. Thieves. That's a kill under Dardog. Bjergsen's looking to find one here in retaliation, but Stun has come forward. Biofrost with a nice flash devour. That is the play that keeps Bjergsen alive. Kabe moving forward, looking to find some more damage onto Stun. Bjergsen from down. In the league, averaging 431 gold ahead. This game, they're way ahead of even that, and they're looking to build it even further as Stunt is going to be the target. Biofrost again there on the Devour, keeping Dardox safe from the bullet time. And it's consistent in here, but based off of what's happened at the start of this game, uh, five kills to one. Right about at the yeah. same moment that Someday sounded the horn. And to me, that says Meteos was wanting to call it off. Someday thought he wanted to go in. The communication was wrong, and it cost them the Orn ult. Now Shelly is going to be taken out there in the top side. Broken Blade going into the ulti, finding a lot of damage here on the Meteos. Someday now going to be caught up there in some of the CC, coming down from Dardock. Broken Blade still having to get himself away. Nice flash to dodge out of the shockwave there. But Cody Sun has made his way up into the top side. Dardock getting himself away. to collapse. But then they collapse anyways. Ronnie, they he's also got stopwatch up, so he's a relatively difficult target. And here we Once go. Once again, TSM trying to make those moves. Dardock with a stopwatch. I'm so glad you called it out because it keeps him alive through two separate ultimates. Biofrost with the Devourer to make sure Meteos... Something they did a lot during the early parts of the season. It was often questioned, but is not necessarily the wrong thing where Bjergsen, maybe even two turrets now that he's got Triforce and can proc it with rockets. So they're going to take the very fed Corky over uh, slightly out that way. Dardock now trying to escape from Stunt, who drops the ulti onto the TSM jungler, providing some follow-up CC, and there you go. Dardock, no the way TSM out. lead from getting any bigger than it already is. They will grab that tier one there in the top side. And the more golden kills that Bjergsen has been able to approve. Biofrost as well has been very critical this game for keeping he, but Broken Blade, he interrupts Meteos on the EQ combo. Rush stone Plate, as well as every melee tank support rushing Stone Plate, it is just so extremely more efficient in terms of individual tankiness if Biofrost is actually looking to front line. So if we do see a fight where Biofrost is frontlining and he dies, uh, that would be something to call out for. If we see a fight where Kabe lives with a sliver of health, then that's credit to the Knights. Absolutely. Someday is now level 14. That means he can buy items for allies, but his allies don't have a lot to provide for him there as the fight's going to be breaking Ooh. out. Biofrost again here with a clutch save, but it's not going to be enough. Dardock taken down. Biofrost in danger. Tries to get himself away here with a thick skin. A little bit more damage. Will be able to take Stunt out. Shockwave on to two carries of TSM as Broken Blade makes his way into the back line. He'll find himself one kill. Looking to make it two. Meteos over the wall. Trying to stop him. But it's still going to be a double kill here for the TSM oh, top man. Who is finally going to be shut down. But I think what Hunter Thieves wanted more of with this competition is if they can make TSM funnel into choke points. Oh. This type of pick, though, is what TSM wanted. Well, and now with Cody Sundown, we might see him. Yeah, that's not at all what Hunter Thieves wanted. Biofrost showing up there with the Abyssal Voyage to cut off Cody Sun's escape route and make it so TSM can get what looked like the easiest pick in the world as now they will just barrel down the mid lane. Five versus four, enemy AD carry dead, and that means no way for 100 Thieves to resist this inhibitor push. TSM will grab that one for themselves. The top lane minions right are there in the river at the very middle, so TSM doesn't have a chance to try to turn this into a second inhibitor just yet. However, the Drake is spawning in five seconds, and TSM are on the way.
Yeah, TSM not rushing things. They actually had a lot of choice after killing Cody Sun there. They could have peeled immediately for Baron and hoped to get some type of 4v5 fight. But they also knew that it wasn't really a defensible mid inhibitor, so they took that first. And instead of peeling back for Baron, they instead just peel back for another Prep the wave so well. And I actually don't think Hunter Thieves can make it in time. Hunter Thieves will not be there in time. A cast from Dardock will do. Oh. Uh, 1 1 fight is the end of it. Here comes your Ornhorn finding a knockup onto Kabe, who is then going to be saved by Biofrost. The Devourers have been on point all game. That's why Yoma's jumped on. He's nearly killed, and Broken Blade sends him all the way into the grave. Stunt now under pressure. Over the wall goes Broken Blade. Meteo's going to be dealt with by the rest of TSM. Broken Blade goes 1v4 and gets two kills. Meteos goes 1v4 and gets a short one-way trip back to the spawn platform. The difference between the state of their two champions right now is pretty substantial. Someday will try to continue his retreat. It's him and Cody Sun against all of TSM for the next 25 seconds. And I would have to say this one's over. Yep, no need to finish off the soul. They just killed three people on 100 Thieves. Cody Sun's probably gonna try and channel his ultimate. But it's not going to do much yeah. myself by Dardock. They'll win this. Dragus gives him a drink and gets all the way rid of him. Someday's going to try to defend here on the front line, but not even enough to take out Broken Blade. TSM on to the Nexus, and 100 Thieves will fall. It is a 1-0 series. Corky, the Corky was great last time, TSM. There yeah. you go. Okay, Salty run back. 20 out of 20 picks and bans. The oh my god. In game one, he didn't gank mid because they didn't know where Meteos was. Now they know Meteos is flashless, so they can take some advantage. There comes the damage from TSM. Ryoma still getting oh, chased Sunday's down here. by Dardock. Dardock's in some trouble, though. Someday with a collapse. Dardock yeah. doesn't have to flash away. He tries to use the body slam there to disengage. Dardock likely going to be taken down. First blood for Someday, who manages to get himself double buffs as well. Bjergsen has some mana left in the tank, but not a ton. Broken Blade moving forward here. Buff like transfer. To get a kill. Remember, Sunday already had to yeah. flash to get the kill into Dardock, and Broken Blade off to an early kill here yet again. And TSM's making a collapse. This time, instead of the top lane, it is the mid lane. Bjergsen maintains the turbid aggro. is really 100% down to just the play, like the message that potentially sends. Uh, because we're one, it was Dardock who had the Herald summon it up here in the top side. Someday uses his ulti to try to stop the wave there in the top side, but it's gonna be Dardock moving towards him here with Bjergsen's health. The cast comes down and the kill is secured. The right initiation could actually take a large reward afterwards. And I wonder if Hunter Thieves is gonna be looking to pound. Talking about the initiation, there you go. Biofrost face checking the tribe rush. Damage coming out onto both sides. Stasis from Dardock gonna keep him alive. Thick skin goes out. Meteos down to one HP. Barely gonna get himself away. Someday now tanking up there on the front line. Stunt is cut down. Broken Blade still looking to find even more. Cody Sun's got no mana, but Ryoma Ooh. has come in and has a massive flank there with a shockwave to kill too. Broken Blade underneath the turret trying to find the kill onto Cody. He'll likely be killed here, but will he get Cody on the oh, way out? Get him. No, he will not. Ryoma, a killing spree and three kills under his belt. Kabe steps back up into the lane to decide just to surrender this one. Last game did start off with one Drake for each side. This one will be the same. And here he... Yep, do your best not to tilt, Soul. Uh, <laughs> this could also be first turret coming down for 100 Thieves. The last plate... Uh, is going to fall in about 10 seconds. If they get it down beforehand, they'll get even more extra gold. You can see two. dead even gold. 15 minutes into the game. Broken Blade coming in from the flank. Stunt is the target here for them, but Broken Blade is going to be collapsed on by multiple members here of 100 Thieves. Bjergsen going to grab the kill on a Cody Sun, but it's already one down on TSM as well. Stunt's there in the middle. Ryoma is able to grab a double. The kid in the mid lane for 100 Thieves oh. is dropping bodies all over the rift here in game two. Meteos over the wall looking to grab some damage onto Dardock, who does keep himself alive. Three here on the Corky, we know that this guy has carried TSM to multiple championships in the past. He's always the guy the team has relied on. We'll see if you can put down the damage TSM here. TSM actually had, I think it was one or two Drake. It was one. They... And it was the first Drake over to 100 Thieves. Yes. But uh, this time, I think they're in an okay position now. When Orn hits 14 and 15, they can start upgrading yet more items. Sure, if they see the right position, they'll go for it. That is a shockwave on to three. Bjergsen thrown up here into the air. Meteos looking to find some damage. Two members of TSM going to be stuck in the Cataclysm. Kabe has to flash away. Ornhorn coming in. Sound the horn. Shut If TSM is going to use that many ultimates to fail a series that we just saw there, at the very start, Captain Flowers, it looked like Bjergsen was trying. a ton of extra stats and firepower there for the side of 100. 
Okay. Biofrost, once again, the target, man. 100 Thieves have gone fishing, and they got a big Dead. one. Right. You know they need to send bodies at him and they get that kill to set up this push in mid lane now. Five men strong pushing down the tier two. They managed to grab that one. A little bit of chip damage through the barrel rolled out by Dardock as 100 Thieves still staying in the top side of the TSM jungle. Stunned with a flash. He's able to find his way on a broken blade. That's going to be a big hit there for 100 Thieves. Flashless no. Nautilus. So TSM is going to cautiously try and get some of this vision back. Another hook, though. We're talking about caution, and Dardock is getting hooked. He goes into the stasis and flashes away, but now Meteos is providing the Cataclysm there so the rest of the damage can come through. A good Devour Sick. fight. Broken Blade could go in over the wall if TSM decides to fight for it. Drake down to 2,000 HP. Dardock looking to potentially contest. He's going to be locked down. Biofrost with the Devour, keeping him safe. Stunt now going to be jumped on by Broken Blade as Biofrost uses thick skin to stay alive. Drake is secured by Meteos and the rest of 100 Thieves. Broken Blade's in the stasis, and now he's taken down. 100 Thieves on the chase, looking to find even more. Someday going forward, he's got the Unstoppable. He's looking to continue this chase. Meteos now with the ball, ready to go in even further forward. Here he goes over the wall. There's your flash. There's Not your combo. There's your combo. There's 100 Thieves. Ryoma with a double kill, and that is three dead for TS. Only has 12 kills. They're all on Ryoma, and... and that fight was actually more one side. I want to stand up 5v5. So we got Bjergsen split pushing one lane. We got Broken Blade trying to split push another. Meanwhile, front door's open. That's not a clockwork orb anymore. That sucker's a bowling ball, man. And they're just going to roll it towards <laughs> each and every one of these fancy little pins TSM likes to call turrets because 100 Thieves will not be stopped. Inhibitor number one already taken there in the mid lane. Yes, Bjergsen got a tier two in the top side. That is the best TSM. TSM just Tom Conchell. Okay, that's not the kind Shock of shockwaves wave. we were talking about looking for. However, the fight is going to be breaking out. Ryoma going legendary, able to find the kill on the Dardock. Cody Sun and Stunt there in the back line, going to be taken very low. Bullet time coming out. Biofrost going to be burnt down. Double kill over to Ryoma as Bjergsen continues to retreat. The anchor will not find its way onto him, and the shutdown oh. comes out. It's mid laner traded away from mid laner as Someday has to continue trying to run now. Broken Blade and Kabe looking to grab the kill onto him. A couple more arrows are going to do it. Piercing Arrow finds the shot, but back into the fight comes Cody oh. Sun, the TP, and he is there. The Baron empowered minion wave is at the Nexus turret. It might be over. Broken Blade is the only man alive. He's got 10% HP. He's backing to the fountain right now. He still has to fight a 1v2, even if he does it. There's the flag placed down. There's the spear to make sure they're providing the interference onto Broken Blade. One more slap will do it. And 100 Thieves, the salty. I just don't see Pantheon top being that good into set, I feel like he'd just get over on jungle is gonna have a hard time keeping up with Olaf after having his red and raptors are uh, jungle. And what okay. <laughs> Can solo that one down incredibly easily. And that will be a first Drake secured for TSM no contest while on the bottom side. All right. Look to uh, play gets away as Ryoma may be in trouble. Bjergsen, he goes for it, and the Emperor's Divide will put Ryoma in between Dardock and Bjergsen. It will trap him away from the. For a lot of the plays they tried to pull together this series, Dark has no ult, though. Oh, sorry, he just used it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Videos is chopped down. Broken yes, because, like, part of this draft for 100 Thieves is that someday is going to be this relatively strong point as the victor scales up, but that has just not been the case. And Dead. someday tried to make sure her true damage takes out the tankiest of the plates. First turret over the side of TSM. And as they're moving over to the Drake, the big thing in this matchup that I wasn't thinking about when I first saw it in champ select and I was so skeptical of it, set wins trades because of one thing. One of these grand star falls into the back line of 100 Thieves. He will do a ton of damage to whatever carry he finds. And now Biofrost and Kabe are going to be in some trouble. Biofrost tries to get himself away, but there's no Callista ulti to keep him alive. Now Bjergsen's trying to find some damage, but he's going to be caught out of position. Chaos Storm nearly going to burn him away. The last tick will get him, but it's also going to kill onto Ryoma. This fight is all over the place, and Broken Blade is not looking to stop here anytime soon. CC comes down. They kite away, but 100 Thieves will likely lose this Tier 1 turret. They'll likely lose another turret. Broken Blade is able to teleport down. But that was 
really close. Getting two kills straight man, and they're trying to get the rest of this out of it. Can Hundred Thieves collapse and punish, though? Looks like they will okay. be able to find themselves a kill on Björks, and then that is a big one. Meteo's now going into the stasis, keeping himself alive. Cosmic Radiance coming through. TSM looking to make the fight go even further. Dardock going to find the kill onto the enemy jungler. 4v4 now. Someday there on the front line, Chaos Storm down onto two. It's going to be a retreat from Dardock as Someday finds the slam on the Biofrost from the top rope. And now it's Broken Blade. Also, we will pick up this third Drake so they can accelerate their chance at an Infernal Soul continue to opt into the fight. When you combine mm -hmm. it with the fact that Dardock has that right story that you mentioned, because it means TSM are looking yeah. for every go button in the book, and here we go, it's Dardock. We're going to start things off. He's exhausted underneath the enemy turrets. He's collapsed on. He's going to be taken down, most likely. No, he won't. Not just yet. There's your shutdown spreaded over to Someday, and it's two TSM bodies on the ground. These can look to just retaliate. They're going to, I think, at least get the flash out of Broken Blade here. Meteos got Predator Boots. He sees him. Meteos. Broken Blade, you're in trouble. Oh, Broken Blade. I don't know if the Aegis Protection is going to be enough to save you here, buddy. Someday I'll just keep on moving forward, or maybe it was. Broken Blade stays alive. Powers up the spear, throws one back. coming to back up. Yerkson is here. This could be a big turnaround for TSM if 100 Thieves overcommit. Yerkson's able to take down about half of Someday's health. Broken Blade was kept alive by that Aegis Protection. The empowered E, it does so much. Oh. There comes your Shereba Shuffle. Meteo's down. Someday's down. That is two. Make it three. Stun's going to be joining them here in only a moment. Kabe grabbing the kill there. And that will do it. TSM with a big win in the bottom half of the map. New team's that was... Let's pull away, but they go all the way in for that kill. And now, since they're still dead, they're trying to go for Baron. That's a big bullet time. Bullet time takes multiple members of TSM incredibly low. They're not willing to run away from the objective. They are trying to commit, and it's going to be secured by Dardock. But where is the fight going to go? Dardock stuck on the front line. He's going to be taken down. Someday now the target. Biofrost having a flash out. Cody Sun in hot pursuit. Kabe taken low, taken down. Double kill over to Cody. Meteo still looking to chase you know, it flash. further. There comes the ulti, but it's not got the angle on to Bjergsen. Broken Blade here on the front line. Once again, trying to use the E. Not going to get out. This. 100 Thieves will tie the Drake count up between the teams, but that is the opportunity for two more auto attacks. We'll do it. Nashor's Tooth makes it incredibly efficient to take turrets as a split pushing AP Short champion. Range 80 carry. Uh, and they have a Pantheon who really needs to get in. It's going to be tricky. Uh, which is why Meteos is actually trying to engage. Bjergsen's not here. Here we go. Someday's already started off the fight, but the Cosmic Radiance has come down. It's going to be keeping the TSM members healthy right now. There's the Haymaker, nearly able to find the kill into Dardock, but Kabe is now the sacrificial lamb, even though... The Cosmic Radiance, and still not dying. So, while TSM was trying to split with Bjergsen, on the TSM members in that second game, that 100 Thieves won. And now they have control over the mid -lose. He's calling for it. He's calling for it. Pings are going out. They are going in like wildfire. Dardox there on the front line. Righteous Glory coming out. He is unstoppable. The Terek ulti trying to keep him alive, and it'll do just that. But 100 Thieves are in a darn good spot. Meteos grabs the kill onto Dardock, and with the enemy jungler dead, it's 100 Thieves looking for even more. Kabe with a hop, skip, and a jump. Straight back to the spawn platform. There is not enough mobility to get away from that one. Hundred Thieves will move on to Soul Point, and they only are now one off of Infernal Soul, but also have brought here the for Hundred Thieves. And TSM is at what I call the Olaf impasse. They had a good early game. He did they Righteous Glory uh, Spear Visage rather than going Black Cleaver or like Black Cleaver GA where you can use the Cosmic Radiance to try and one-shot someone now. Uh, TSM is really just trying to buy time for, for this Baron buff. As I'm thinking about it, you still need someone to do the damage after the shuffle. And this oh, is not the way you do it. The damage is being dealt, but it's being dealt to Dardock, who manages to get himself away, but has to expend alt and flash and righteous glory to do that, which means he is not in a spot to participate in any sort of PvP gameplay until those cooldowns are up and ready to go here again at, at this point in time. Everybody else... Did they just catch Meteos? Yes, um, needs to be helping him out. There comes your Pantheon ulti. This is a big pick here for TSM with the great play you were just hoping to get if you're TSM for an actual engage. So it's it's harder for them to actually get engaged on. But if that happens again... Oh, oh Dardock. Oh, boy. Oh, lanes that can get control of the Baron Pit, and they know the Dardock is still dead for another 10 seconds. Just... 
Caught clearing Wolves at 35 and a half minutes on Olaf is not how you want to say game three of your elimination playoff match was clinched. Here we go, though. 100 Thieves looking for an engage. Cody going in. Stunt trying to find some CC, but someday's already brought him right back in, and that is Bjergsen, man. That what angles 100 Thieves would be able to attack from, and 100 Thieves got exactly the target they need to take down. We Ten mentioned... seconds until the Azir is alive. Once he's up, he will have the divide, he will have the flash, but will he have the time? to count barren up cannon minions because TSM doesn't really have the damage to kill him. So he's just sitting there. Just chilling. Powering him up so they can kill that turret. Having a good time. Giving him the, the barren buff blessing as mid lane will be pushed up by the remaining four members of 100 Thieves. 55 seconds to go on the barren power play. Cody's son, by the way, just casually being zero deaths after 38 minutes of, of gameplay. Yeah. It's only back and forth between everybody on both go. teams. But now it's the engage. Now it's Broken Blade coming in. Cosmic Radiance going down. Damage down in the is going to be going into the stasis stunt here on the front line. Able to find the CC someday in the back line. Looking to find the damage onto Bjergsen, but now it's going to be health bars dropping all over the place. Cody's son, legendary, and a death onto Dardock is going to be the start of the casualties. Bjergsen is now in stasis, surrounded by 100 Thieves. And with him gone, this is surely the end of the game. 100 Thieves, five men strong, pressuring on to the Nexus turrets, pressuring towards that Nexus. And they are going to take us to match point. They win the third game of the series. 100% kill for Sejuani. Yeah, and I think the Sejuani is a good pick. I also wouldn't have been shocked to see something like Trundle. Right. Jerkson fires off the sleeve. Really greedy. Bubble, bubble, but he's not gonna find the CC down onto Meteos, who does have to try to use the Arctic Assault to get away. Meteos just, man, sticking around way too long. The top was annoying already. Uh, let me introduce you <laughs> to point number two. Bailing out Dardock right there after he gets picked in the river. And yep, that's first turret. Full what TSM awesome. wants is they want 100 Thieves to stick their head out to go into this double but, blade of the room. Yeah, that's just... Dardock, was he able to steal that? No, Medio secured it. So, so far, still more defense as they're now trying to move down for a dive. TSM just never stopping. Dardock at 400 HP, but remember, he still has the ulti, which is a great aggro drop to prevent him from dying to a turret if they do make a dive. Happen. Trouble bubble down on the ground. Not gonna find anybody. Well, Sunday's not even here yet. Be aware of the but he might be looking to flank. Okay. If Ryama lands a big shockwave, Sun's not gonna find much of anything. Dardock is exhausted. CC coming through. Stasis going down. Dardock grabbing the kill onto Stunt. As the Ocean Drake. So it's a small victory for TSM in terms of like net uh, assets that they're able to acquire yeah. with the kill on the Ocean Drake, but still probably a pretty useful denial by Hunter Thieves. Hunter Thieves at least, I guess. Either jump on a champion with infinite mobility or jump on a champion that has two separate aggro drops. Very hard decision making to go through and find a successful way out. And it results star on to Meteos. Will take about one third of his health away. But remember, that is through the frost armor. Huh. As Meteos is now rooted up, more damage going to be coming through. Utilizes the ulti, having a flash away now. Dardock once again going to be saved, thrown right back into the Hunter Thieves lines. A kill onto Cody Sun, a kill onto Sun, a kill onto Rioma. Sunday runs away. Oh, I don't think this is going to work out too well at all for a Broken Blade. Continuing to try to chase after Meteos. Someday will be the last man standing here as Meteos will meander off to the left side of the map there. Makes a liar out of me. He doesn't give over the soul, but maybe they thought they could get TSM through the right corridor and find an initiation. They clearly could not. And then, hey, we've seen them throw leads like this before. We have to be careful. Always expect the unexpected. That much Edge Knight Rek'Sai. <laughs> no. But I have yeah. seen a lot of Orianna, MF, Sejuani, Nautilus, Teamfight Wombos. So, like, there's still a chance this happens, uh, but it's, it's getting slimmer and slimmer by the minute. Let's see if TSM can finish what they've started here. Dardock is the focus at first. He is taken very low, nearly taken down, but close on the counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Stunt now sleepy, not going to fall here either. The turret is gone. Man, it's because literally Hunter Thieves has zero kills, but if he lands a big shockwave, there's not that much MR on the side of TSM. Or, or, or the arrow plus if he gets one shot, then maybe they just get two in hibs and win the game. When you have two long-range abilities that are both capable of chunking out half an opponent's HP, sometimes some wild things can happen here <laughs> in League of Legends. And that's going to be a mid laner down and a top lane inhibitor taken as the cost. 
Chains of Corruption over the wall. They find their way onto the 100 Thieves left. Right. Someday going to be killed off. His first death of the game. Someday's the double kill over to Kabe. And TSM are on the victory march. Shut down onto Dardock. His first death of the game. The only kill that 100 Thieves has managed to find here for themselves. 10 seconds left until Ryoma. Right that was just good opportunistic play from TSM. Bjergsen landed the pick on Ryoma initially. Okay. They're, they're doing something Split else. push lethality. Rek'Sai is here to end the game when no one else will. Dardoch, he's got here they come. the Nexus turret low. They do manage to take it out. Kabe and Biofrost are here as backup. It's a 3v5 for the moment, and the CC comes down. Biofrost immediately prepared with the save. Stunts there on the front line, gonna be taken low. However, the Gargoyle Stone Plate will keep him healthy enough. Bullet time goes out, but Biofrost walks out of the way. Stunt is gonna be killed by Bjergsen. Biofrost continues to hop out, is. and Dardoch grabs a lot of damage, a lot of CC, and that's all they needed. A double kill for the jungler, a triple kill, and an ace for TSM. They will end the game here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to game number five. Whew, if you tuned in now, you'd think, ah, oh, yeah, just another TSM snowball. <laughs> 13 kills to one, but the story of this series has been absolutely for Meteos here once more. GP. 5v5 again for 100 Thieves. GP comes in for Broken Blade at the end. Behind Meteos right now. Meteos full clear blue side and is looking to punish Broken Blade here. Walks through Ward, but they see him. Someday continuing to try to pressure forward here. Does find the face breaker stun. Looking for even more now. There goes your CC. Wombo combo and a right hook. For early Infernal Drake. Very easy to grab there for Dardoch. As bottom side, Kabe getting into a 2v2 here along with Biofrost. Cody Sun and Stun. He just started using the whip on his opponent. Okay, never mind. We're going to have a fight down here in the bottom side anyway. Stun being dove now. Biofrost, he starts the back. Things coming out. Bjergsen finds the Hextech GLP. Chaos Storm dropped down. Sidestep from the Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Ryoma also going to walk away there from the Paddle Star. Finding more trading opportunities there with the lasers. Damage going through. Opening up with a bullet. Plenty enough for them. It's a bit of a race, actually. Bot lane is, is at one plate as well. And there's... Yep. Oh, TSM gets first They turn. got it. TSM having the free firing time with Kabe there in the bottom lane. Just barely managed to race 100 Thieves down. Yeah, I flank ulti. Someday wants to come in over from the side. It's going to be a smite fight for the Drake. Maybe not. Ryoma Gaia is going to be dived onto. Biofrost looking to find some damage as Kabe's grabbed the kill onto the enemy mid laner. Here comes Someday with the slam over the wall. The cloud winds quicken, as that means we're going to see the cloud soul. It's a one for one overall. Someday's going to be blocking up the damage there from Bjergsen. Now everybody's trying to walk out. Someday the 60 last. CS ahead with this Zaya Rakan duo. Yeah. And that's actually an incredible amount of gold that they have up on their opponent. Dardock taken very low, likely going to be taken down. Biofrost moves in to save him, but he might be in some trouble now, too. Over the wall goes Mio, setting the damage up on Cody Sun. Who needs creeps when you've got champions? Now they're trying oh, to collapse man. on the Kabe. He wants to grab some kind of a kill potentially down into Cody Sun instead. Flashing forward with the root. He's got the auto attacks. He's got the kill. Oh. Good lord. This man's got some moves. Khan. Instead, you can see he's got the Glacial Shroud in inventory. Mm -hmm. Chain Vest on Stunts Nautilus means it is a gargoyle for him. As Shelly is down to 4,000 HP, quickly losing patience. Eye is exposed. Dardock tries to jump in, but the Gravity Well is down. Ryoma's going to be kept safe by that. Bjergsen's coming into the back line, looking to find that damage onto Ryoma, looking to grab Dardock on his way out if he can. Oh. Dardock survives with a flash in from Stunt. Is going to make it so they're able to secure the kill onto the enemy jungler. Kabe now in the middle of everybody from 100 Thieves, and the fight has turned to tragedy for TSM. They will all be killed except for... This Bo is 100 Thieves now. Uh, after Cody Sun was so far behind, from the he should still need an extra red crystal, so I don't think he has the region, but now it's going to be Stunt, who's in some danger here on the front line. Going to be taking a lot of damage. The Sleep finds its way onto him, and Biofrost is looking to grab the engage. Instead, he's only going to get a whole ton of damage put down onto him. Bullet time comes through. Chaos Storm is also ticking over and over. Side. It ended before we got to see who got the soul, but this may very well be another game of the same caliber. Someone walked into range of stun. And here, <laughs> here we go, another one. Dive. Range again. Videos coming around over the wall, collapsing onto Kabe. He's not able to do anything. He tries to use the ulti, but it does not work. Remember, when you use Featherstorm as Zaya, you are untargetable. But effects already on, you will continue to tick. Stunts ignite 
on to Kabe, mm. provided the damage to kill him, even through that ulti, and it made it so the play the itemization was choice here from Sunday as well. Going for the dead man's plate second, making this sure- This game is kind of at its breaking point. I mean, that side lane pressure created is buying a lot of space in the mid lane for 100 Thieves to try and break this turret, but here comes Dardo. the wall he goes, trying to pull off the same play Meteos did. However, the bullet time comes in, the Chaos Storm goes down, and 100 Thieves are able to repel the assault. Ryoma Trouble bubbles. Gravity Well will control the mid lane wave as Stunt finds a dredge line down on the Dardoch, but he's going to eat 75% of his HP in the meantime. But now Meteo's coming in from the flank. Ryoma walks forward, but Ryoma goes way too far. He's going to be stuck out. The Chaos Storm is down. Into the stasis he goes, but surely he's going to be exploded right here, right now. The bullet time goes through, but it will not find the target. Dardoch now stunned up, but Kabe's dragged back into the team by Sunday. The Feathers will not be able to fly in a way that locks down anybody with the root. 100 Thieves still looking to find something. They are the only side that has lost a person so far. Sunday moves oh. forward. Dredge line is down. Kabe is out. Cody Sun gets the kill. It's a shutdown on the set. The bodies are going to be dropping here on both sides. Health bars are popping. Bjergsen around from the side looking to find even more. Down the Thieves are moving towards it. There is a blue trinket ward in this pit. TSM are aware of it's what's theirs. going on. They cannot stop it. And that is sole point. 100 minutes and we know neither of these teams hesitate stunt in particular to pull the trigger and go for a fight bottom side medios and someday are looking to force a play on the broken blade they aren't going to find what they're looking for instead it's going to be medios nearly killed off trying to get over the wall the arctic assault dodged away from dardock here just in time escaped the is collapsed upon that is hundred thieves not getting the people they started for but getting the one person on the map who probably matters the most right flank mm. hex tech glp not gonna find much there as stunts on the front line. Gargoyle stone plates activated. Fight's gonna be breaking out. Bullet time, not finding a whole lot of anything. Medios and Someday coming in from the side. TSM disengaging as a unit. All five players working together, and now they're looking to find the damage onto Someday. Here comes your showstopper, and Biofrost is gonna be deleted. Stunt very low, and Bjergsen's not able to find the damage. Chaos Storm still there on the front line. 100 thieves, five alive, looking to walk over to the Drake, but they're not gonna do it here. Back in. Face breaker down onto the entire TSM line. Someday's gonna be taken very low. They grab the kill into Dardock, and and that means no steal from both sides. Kabe waiting for his QSS and ultimate. But TSM doesn't want to give this up. Cody dies! Cody taken down. But now TSM is looking to take this. And Meteos, he, he might steal. He wants Meteos it. could go over the wall and try this. It could be so very close, but Dardock decides to jump over the wall. Instead, the Drake is going to be secured by Kabe. Dardock still there on the front line. Stun's going to be caught out in the middle of everybody. Chaos Storm raging on top of three people. It's a gravity well down trying to protect Stun. Media Assault not going to find that instant CC onto anybody directly, and 100 Thieves disengage. How many seven Drake games are we going to get? Oh, Obviously man. not more than this, but it seems like we've had a lot. Stunt on the front line, trying to buy time. Broken Blade, Kabe, Biofrost, Bjergsen, everybody's moving in, but Dardoch's not hanging around nearby. Medios has the secure with the smite. Stun's trying to tank up. He drops the ulti to disengage. 100 Thieves have to be careful. Their support is almost dead. And Dardoch's got a Cataclysm on the two. Dardoch is down. Chaos Storm is out. TSM are 4v5. Cody Sun and the rest of 100 Thieves uh, are a rookie to the larger regions. He did have playtime competitively in mm. Oceania, but that is an emerging region. In terms of playing in the larger scope of things, these main regions that automatically get their seeds into the main competition at international stages, this is Ryoma stepping up to a new level this split he has not played at before. This is the kind of person that you need to step up and stay cool and collected, not get those nerves. I want to watch his positioning as this game moves forward. It will be key with three pure tanks and two really high damage characters. Meanwhile, TSM is just, they have to be crisp with their initiations. They haven't been. That's why Dardoch has died six times. If they go for something, it might end up being it's right here. It's got a snap from Biofrost. Medios on the front line, going to be taken very low, nearly killed off. Now Dardoch, the first kept DM's dead. Biofrost getting himself away. Ryoma keeping alive with the stasis. Broken Blade coming back forward. Kabe with the feather fly, looking to find the damage onto Sunday. He walks away. Cody's on the front line. Has no. to claim soul. You, you'd think, you would. unless it's a five for zero fight and they move on, the next fight, we keep saying it, could decide the game. Stunt moving himself around there with the dredge line to make sure he doesn't get paddle starred after that sleepy trouble bubble. Well done by him. Medios on the front line here yet again. Someday at the Where's top of the fight there. Dredge line not going to find the mark. Someday doing a good job clearing out these barrels. The bubbles are like homing in 
on where Stunt is. Mm. Nice! Fair Whoa. coming out from Broken Blade. Dardock now looking to start things off. Dragon's gonna be slain by the side of TSM. 100 Thieves still looking to take the fight. Stunt's gonna be killed off. Bjergsen down to one third HP. Someday back into the pit. Meteos grab the kill on the Biofrost. Four alive on the side of TSM. Bullet time over the wall. Kave barely gonna be here. kept. Someday at three quarters HP, Meteos lands a slow on to Biofrost. Biofrost pops the quickness, Wants but he's going to be contained. Ryoma goes into the stasis, keeping himself alive. A lot of damage coming down. Broken Blade going to be killed. Chaos Storm raging into the TSM health bars. Someday's going to be tanking four people alive now as TSM's looking to find the damage back against 100 Thieves. Kabe's not going to be stopped. Someday's looking to kill him, but he can't quite do it. TSM will take this team fight. Meteos is double killed by Bjergsen and Jack. That is the fight. Oh my god, it looked so dangerous. TSM moved into that funnel where the bullet time nearly shredded them completely death, but it wasn't quite enough. And now, look at these death timers. 40 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It might be the game. Cody Sun's got to find a way to kill these minions. Cody Sun, with no bullet time, stands 1v4. It is 10 seconds on stunt. It is 14 I think on it's it. Ryoma. I think that's it. Cody has to pull off some kind of a miracle here. He brings down the Make It Rain, firing off a little bit of damage here. Bjergsen will look to do whatever we can to put the damage into Cody's health bar. Biofrost going in, damage going down. On the Nexus bullet time, going out, damage going through. Kabe's nearly oh my god! Down. Oh. oh my goodness, Bjergsen will be.